That's Justin Bieber hightailing it out of Miami last night, thanking his believers for their support. Believers. Yeah, believers, yes. All right, I thought you said believers. No, I think I said believers. Right. Oh, my God, maybe. All right, all right, all right. That's his new video comes to light this morning following Justin Bieber's arrest on uh, those DUI and resisting arrest charges. Allegedly shows Bieber behind the wheel of a fancy sports car as it tears down a street in Miami. ABC's Matt Gutman has been on the case and has the latest from the Bieber's father and son. It's the first video of Justin Bieber's alleged drag race down a Miami Beach street. You see Bieber's rented yellow Lamborghini and his friend's red Ferrari flash by, and then their entourage's SUVs. Finally, the police crews are racing to catch up. That officer ultimately busting Bieber. Mr. Bieber, you are charged with the following. DUI, alcohol or drugs, resisting without violence, and driving with an expired driver's license. Police say Bieber admitted to having alcohol pot and prescription medication in his system. If convicted, he faces up to six months in jail. Yet alongside the 19-year-old pop phenom all week here in Miami, his father now coming under intense scrutiny. When the kid's making $50 million a year, there's a lot of empowering that goes on and the lines between parent and child can be very distorted. Daddy Beaver battled back, tweeting, I can protect my kids, but I can't protect them from you and your lies. Bieber's camp hasn't released any official statement, but on Friday, the Beeb Instagrammed this. Yep, that's a match frame of him side by side with the king of pop, Michael Jackson, both hopping atop their SUVs after leaving jail. The Beeb's raucous release came Thursday afternoon, after which he headed back to South Beach to waiting believers and paparazzi who spotted him leaving his hotel late Friday night. Oh my God! <laughs> then later seen again on the tarmac in Miami. For Good Morning America, Matt Gutman, ABC News, Miami. And Dan, given his constant run-ins with the law now, we know he the, the Justin is Canadian. Could he be deported? A lot of people are wondering if he yeah, sent back home. Theoretically, but not for these kinds of crimes. I mean, you'd need to have something far more serious than a, a DUI, um, a resisting arrest without violence charge, both misdemeanors. Uh, yeah, look, if he does get convicted, again, needs a conviction on a more serious charge, is it possible? Yeah, but I don't think that's in the cards right now. Yeah, you think he'll still be here in the U.S.? Yeah, absolutely.